Generally speaking, it's years before new ideas like that are actually put into operation. But we were able to find at least one practical use to which the hovercraft principle has already been adapted, as a hover barrow. And as you'll see, on a building site, especially on heavy ground, nothing could be more ingenious. The hover barrow works on the same basis as the hovercraft, yet was designed not by a team of engineering marvels, but by a builder, Mr. Edward Drury of Orpington in Kent, who, happily for his men, happens to be an air-minded inventor. wheelbarrows are practically bogged down, the hover barrow glides over mud and potholes without effort, besides carrying a much greater load. Prototypes of this kind often cost thousands of pounds, but Mr. Drury's experimental model set him back 25 pounds. Well, that shows it doesn't necessarily take the resources of a large company to invent something like this. Anyone can have a go. If they've got the right proportion of brain power, that is, then it's as easy as floating on air. 